When it comes to the biggest honors for an NBA player during the regular season, winning the MVP is a creme de la creme for a lot of these guys. And nowadays in our current era, the voters of these awards get critiqued rightfully so. And luckily for us, their voting and their orders is 100% transparent and public knowledge. For example, if you vote Derrick Rose in 2021 to be the MVP, we're going to know that and you're going to get roasted to the end of time. And unfortunately for us, one of the voters in these awards is indeed Stephen A. Smith. Hey, your honest assessment, who do you think is going to win? If you had to say right now, who do you think is going to win? I think they'll give it to Jokic. I would vote for Shea. I have a vote. I would vote for Shea. Jokic would probably be number two. I got to admit to you, it's a battle for number three between uh, Anthony Luke Edwards and, and, oh. J and Jalen Brunson. Mm. So right there in that clip you saw Shannon Sharp, he actually interrupted Stephen A. Smith, said Luka and Giannis should be fighting for third and fourth. And when Stephen A. said Anthony Edwards and Jalen Brunson, Shannon Sharp was just taken aback and dumbfounded. And look, I'm not going to take a dump on Brunson, dump on Edwards, but those guys being ahead of Luka in the MVP race, I mean, let's get real. At the very least, Luka is top three. And I personally argue he's second behind the Joker. And if you're going to argue Anthony Edwards is ahead of Luka in this race, I mean, what's your go-to argument? I guess Minnesota being a top three seed, possibly being the first seed, that's Ant's big time case, his claim for the award. But outside of that, not much substance argument for Ant Edwards being more deserving than Luka. And looking at the overall numbers, Doncic, 34 points, 10 assists, 9 boards, on 49% shooting the field, 38% from deep, and a career high 78% from the free throw line. The only thing Edwards has on Luka as an individual basketball player, being a better free throw shooter and defender. Besides those two aspects, Luka Doncic, far away the better player and candidate to an MVP. And one of the big time differences between Luka and Ant is that Luka Doncic in offense far more consistent. I love Ant Edwards, but some games this dude's shot just is not falling in a straight up brick. As looking at 2024 in the last month alone, he scored 9 points, 11 points, 13, and 16. And on the season, has 7 games under 10 points. And Minnesota in those games, despite Ant being pretty abysmal, they're 6 and 1. Luka's lowest one game this year was 16 versus the Pelicans. You just left Luca. Hold on. You left Luca out. I was just hey, choking. hey, hey, hey! That's a fifth seed. That's a fifth seed. He battling for fifth seed right now. Fifth seed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, Shannon. Come on, Shannon. You see my Knicks? You see my Knicks? Watch your mouth. You watch your mouth, Shannon. I want you guys to understand this. Stephen A. Smith, the face of ESPN, who has an MVP vote, thinks Jalen Brunson being the fourth seed on a 44-win Knicks team is just so much better than Dallas being a 5th seed with 45 wins. I know Stephen A is a busy dude, does tons of shows on ESPN and off of ESPN, but I mean having takes like these really makes you wonder, how close does he follow the NBA on a day-to-day -day basis? And let's say hypothetically speaking Dallas, they were the 8th seed and New York was still the 4th seed. Even then I'd say Luka has a better case for MVP than someone like Brunson. It's not like the Knicks, the first seed in the Eastern Conference, they've won 55 games, are just so, so dominant. Much like Dallas, one of those teams in the middle of the pack, semi-contender, kind of serious, but not upper echelon of the great teams. When you compare someone like Brunson, Anthony Edwards, to a Luka Doncic, you are a team those guys up for slander they really don't deserve. Let me okay. see if I can change your mind. We okay. recognize the greatness of the reigning yeah. defending champion as is Nikola Jokic and the NBA Finals MVP. We understand Cr it, right? Yes. My choice right now is Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's the number one seed in the West as we speak. Mm -hmm. He's played 71 of 74 games this year, Shannon. Wow. He's third in the NBA, averaging 30.3 behind Luka and Giannis only. He's had an NBA high 50 games of 30 or more points this season. He leads the league in assist. Now, stopping at there, Stephen A. Smith, for once in his life, giving actual facts, data, and numbers to back up his points. But here's the thing. 
when it comes to the MVP race, it's not one guy in a vacuum versus himself. SGA is competing against Jokic, Luka, and Giannis. And when looking at Stephen A's bullet points, his highlights, what he says about SGA applies Jokic and Luka even more so. His first major point, Oklahoma City being the first seed. I mean, Jokic and Denver are what, 0.5 games back? That fluctuates day to day, week to week, even hour to hour. Now his second point, SGA, has played 71 games of 74. Okay, that's fine, but Jokic also, 72 games of 75. Now looking at some stats when it comes to SGA, yes, averaging 30, but Luka averaging 34. SGA, 50 games of 30 plus points. Luka right behind him at 47. Look at 40 point games, Luka 13, SGA 5. 50 point games, Luka 2, SGA 0. Season high in points, Luka 73, SGA 43. And Stephen A's most egregious point, which is a downright lie, is saying SGA currently leads the NBA in assists. And funny enough, Stephen A is saying this, not the first time he's lied about this on national television, as SGA right now ranks 16th in the league compared to Luka, who's second. And if you want to compare overall value, Jokic vs SGA, SGA vs Luka, really all three together. Jokic definitively is the most valuable player out of all of them. As looking at his on-off offensive rating, he's a plus 15.7. Denver's defense on versus off, with Jokic four points better. Now look, don't get me wrong, SGA and Luka extremely viable with their teams and their success they've had this season. But compared to the Joker, those guys are a tier below. As looking at Denver currently, Jokic leads them in points, rebounds, assists, steals, while being second in blocks. And all those categories but blocks is top 10 in the NBA. What we're seeing from Jokic currently is one of the best all-around offensive seasons of all time, regardless of position. He's shooting a career high 53.9% from the field, 58% on two-point shots, 36.5% from three-point range, okay? And by the way, Shannon, in four games against Denver, they're three and one. He's averaging 26, five, and five. Stephen A. Smith right here, the king of unintentional comedy. As in this last bullet point, he made some of SGA vs. Denver with his going nuts, averaging 40, dropping 50 bombs. When in reality, it was 26, 5, and 5. I'll give SGA credit because vs. Denver, they're 3 and 1 on the season. But citing his individual numbers as some damning facts in this race, when they were 26, 5, and 5, that's pretty weak. And look at the actual number of Stephen A. Smith, he was a tad bit off. As looking at Jokic vs. SGA head to head, SGA 24 points, 5 boards, 6 assists. Jokic 24 points, 10 boards, 8 assists. Now here's the big time difference. Jokic from the field 71%, SGA 45%. Looking at Stephen A. Smith's own numbers, his own data that he brought to the table, even his facts on supporters argument for SGA being the MVP. And if you want to go one step further, looking at head-to-head -head matchups, because apparently they matter so much, Luka vs. SGA also has thoroughly outplayed him, as versus the Thunder, 34-14-12 on 55% shooting. Compared to Luka's average game, Versus Thunder, he's slightly better. Now looking at SGA versus the Mavericks, 21 points, 7 assists, and 5 boards. I mean, not too shabby. But compared to the standard of SGA, those numbers are a massive drop off. And even looking at Luka versus Ant head to head, those numbers are more damning. Luka versus Minnesota, 37, 11, and 6 on 51, 37 and 80 splits. If you're going to cite head-to-head -head numbers for SGA and Jokic, do the same for Luka vs. Ant and Luka vs. SGA. 
Like I said earlier, when you compare guys to Luka Jokic, the top A1 tier of NBA players, what you're doing is setting up players for unnecessary slander. Case in point, with SGA, Anthony Edwards, and even someone like Jason Tatum. So that right there is the end of the video. And when it comes to MVP, I think it's pretty cut and dry, at least right now in this moment. Could things change? Definitely so, but I doubt it. First place, Jokic, firmly locked in. Second place, Luka, also firmly locked in. Third place, SGA, and fourth place, Giannis. Beyond that, doesn't really matter. So that is the end of the video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.